I think the one thing that will change in 2019 is that we will no longer have lawyers who say, I don't understand tech. I think all lawyers have to understand tech. In 2019, I think we're going to see that data is a trade issue. That may sound surprising, but you know about the trade war. You also know about the increasing number of countries that are adopting stringent legislation around data localization, where your data has to be kept. At the same time, you see Japan changing its rules to adapt to the standards the EU set under the GDPR to ensure that data can flow freely between Japan and the EU. These kind of alignments and disalignments, countries asserting sovereignty over their data, it's a big deal in terms of how data is traded. Watch that space, I think there's going to be a lot of interesting things happening there. My one prediction is going to be in blockchain, of course, because that's what we do, and that is, is that uh, a few of these applications that are going live are going to start to make a big impact. So all of the debate about whether it can really uh, move the dial or not goes away, and we'll be able to uh, point to specific solutions that are saving money and creating efficiencies in different markets. So that's what's going to happen in 2019. I think the buzzword certainly of this conference has really been the use of blockchain and I think it lends itself perfectly to the insurance sector. It's a real opportunity I think to compress and achieve efficiencies in some of those areas. We have heard a lot about this over the course of the last two days and it's really an area where insurance can develop and use in some of their key product areas, whether it's in reinsurance, whether it's in the provision of simple contracts, this can really drive efficiencies and enhance the consumer experience. I think we're going to see a lot more um, use cases moving into production on blockchain um, and a lot more collaboration and less disruption in the industry. I think with the launch of 5G with AI and more and more natural language processing software, we're going to see more and more messaging with chatbots, with apps via smartphones and a lot more customer interface uh, technology um, via smartphones for all sorts of products and services. My one prediction for 2019 would be that we're going to see the paradigm shift at the next level. So there are banks and insurance uh, companies that are getting into more and more platform deals and we are going to see that continue in 2019. Things are already in production, so by 2019 we expect there's going to be a lot more use cases that are going to be using blockchain for enhancing business processes, specifically in trade finance, cash management, insurance and capital markets. In Asia specifically, this is an area of growth for us. We're really excited about the work that's moving forward in the next year.